impossible to calculate mathematically what is moving around what and uh, which point is stationary. In animation it is known as pivot point. Any point can become pivot point, the center. Imagine a bunch of revolving uh, ping pong balls in an empty dark space, like if you close your eyes. Uh, without knowing which one is stationary for sure, uh, anyone can become the, sta the, the stationary. You can grab each of, the, of those uh, balls and the rest would revolve just as well. You know, the system would revolve around the stationary one. Um, remember all the, the old uh, alarm clocks? Like uh, you could uh, wind it up with a key and then you would hold the, the clock and the key would revolve. But if you hold the key, the clock would revolve. The same is uh, true for the universe. Copernicus never proved his uh, heliocentric theory. He never even stated such a thing. The foreword to his uh, work about the revolutions of heavenly spheres was added without his consent uh, or permission. He hasn't provided even one uh, shred of evidence to support his uh, theo heliocentric uh, theory that he didn't even formulate in his work. Now, where did that come from? I challenge you on that. Find his work on the internet and use the find feature in your browser to find anything about Earth and heliocentric and see if there is any evidence, if he provides even one evidence. No, nothing. Uh, later on, when uh, Johannes Kepler was doing his research on elliptical orbits, he already arbitrarily presumed that the Earth is going around the Sun. That was already presumed. That's why he came up with the elliptical orbits, otherwise it, he would just know that it, it, they are uh, circular. Uh, he had no right to do it, and it's impossible for, uh, for planets to have elliptical orbits. That's because they would have to speed up and slow down for no reason. And uh, they would have to go away from one another planet and then go farther and come closer, go farther, and they can't do it. They are balls of dirt. There is nothing else. They, they don't change their gravity. They're, they are still the same. So it, it, it's impossible. Uh, because their gravity is the same uh, at all times. The elliptical uh, orbits result from uh, Johannes Kepler's wrong presumption that the Earth goes around the Sun. The reason why people still believe in Copernicus' theory is that they are too intimidated to ask for evidence because they are ridiculed as children if they think the other way. Um, Co and Coper Copernicus never provided any evidence. Not a single one. Today, 500 years later, humanity still is too, still too afraid to challenge the medieval theory of a guy whose education is less than today's uh, grade C average uh, high school student. It's a joke. Not really. <laughs> it's shameful that even the physics professors are uh, afraid uh, of ridicule like little kids, with the exception of uh, Paul Mar Marmot from uh, Laval University and Professor Reddington, the Dean of uh, Physics uh, Department of from MIT, and maybe a handful of others uh, that they had the chance to talk with. All calculations used in science presume stationary Earth. Uh, there is an experiment uh, in physics calls called uh, Aries failure that proves that the Earth is motionless, yet it is uh, ignored by science precisely because it is proving that the Earth is motionless. Uh, the reason why wrong theories are still, uh, still there is that media doesn't have the knowledge to switch uh, to the truth, yet science geeks have no courage uh, or spine to question the centuries-old, obviously wrong theories. Uh, and then there are cynics. Uh, cynics are stupid people who can't tell uh, right from wrong, so they ridicule everything, thinking that their ignorance uh, will remain uh, concealed. They think they are clever uh, in doing so, but the very fact that they laugh at er the, the wrong things as well as the right things pro proves them uh, ignorant imbeciles. The real reason why uh, Copernicus' theory is pushed against reason is the same that the theory of, theory of evolution is pushed uh, against its obvious contradictions. It's uh, to introduce atheistic and materialistic uh, mentality where human dignity uh, is uh, being dropped to the level of swines and the dollar uh, is worshipped by the masses. Just watch TV and notice uh, how the programming is pushing the notion that people will do everything for money. 
it's not true but the swines that are in the control of programming try to feel themselves uh, feel better by making the population think that uh, it's normal behavior and that selling the the one's uh, soul for money is uh, you know cool uh, just like they did it uh, following the example of Judas they will refuse smart uh, programming and only promote uh, spoon-fed uh, people like uh, Donald Trump and uh, whatever Britney Spears may be now uh, and uh, mm, uh, those people can actually show somebody like Miss Minnesota drinking uh, fermented fish guts and, and telling you that this is like wow you know cool for a chance to win $25,000 it's not even for getting it it's for chance to win it by demeaning oneself. It's disgusting. Um, that's it for now. And the last thing, uh, microwave radiation is constant 2.7 uh, around the Earth. And uh, yet if the Earth revolved, it would be different due to Doppler's effect. Just one more thing.